This would be Mythos cast in Stranger Things. I feel like the jacket is giving very much Stranger Things poster. Stranger Things intro. Like, don't... Stop. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gumwin. Thank you so much for watching. Don't mind this situation. I was trying something different, but I think it backfired. But I don't care because we are here for more pressing things, okay? So today is the 11th of June, yeah? And season 4, volume 2 of Stranger Things is coming out on the 1st of July. I am a certified Stranger Things stan. I've been watching since it came out. But I feel like now, with like this new season that's come out, my obsession has absolutely fucking intensified. I'm obsessed. So let's look at some Stranger Things. Theory. Theory. Robin found Nancy's music tapes while searching her room, so she knows her favorite song. Robin will save Nancy. Whoa! I mean... If Robin saves Nancy, Dara, it'll be... It'll set Twitter on fire, because Twitter already stands uh, Nancy and Robin, like, as partners so if robin saves nancy oh my god the nancy and robin shippers are gonna go off the f and that thing rails that they're gonna go crazy they have been establishing a friendship throughout the first volume so i feel like that would make the most sense for either steve or robin to save nancy because jonathan is all the way in f and that is it california i don't know where they are bro i'm sorry where are they there's a crazy new Stranger Things theory about who's gonna die in volume two. So remember back when we got the trailer for season four, people started to find like a hidden picture in the trailer that showed like a bunch of different gates to the upside down. In this season, we learned that wherever and whenever Vecna kills someone, it will create a new portal to the upside down. Right. So the theory is that the hidden picture in the trailer is literally showing us how many people are gonna be killed in this season because of how many portals there are. Because in the picture, it shows us four different portals, but so far, only three portals have been created because of Vecna's killing. So that means someone in the next two episodes will die because we know that Vecna targets people that have extreme guilt so that means it could possibly be Steve because we oh. know he has a lot of guilt stop 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 no don't say that no. don't say that listen to me guys if Steve Harrington dies I will simply foam at the mouth no 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 Steve Harrington can't die he simply guys it won't make sense how Johnny Tang, nah, nah, fam, nah, brah, 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 brah. You know, let me listen to what he says. He's gonna die. Because we know he has a lot of guilt from being a bully in high school. And it could also be Nancy because she has so much guilt for Bar. But it also could be Hopper because we learned that he. Shut your mouth. I need to think. Shh. I'm gonna say this now. Yeah. If Steve Harrington or Hopper or Joyce die, or even Will, let them touch Will. Nah, calling my mom. But brothers must be aware of 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 of, of a raging african mother you, you've been warned another one what if henry creel's sister alice did not die and could be eleven's biological mother which is terry terry might have got her mental something from a tr whoa from a trauma so the trauma she got could be from that night which nancy saw on the last episode of volume one season four so this is so, like, this is very creative. If Terry is Henry's sister, that would explain why she would have powers. But remember in season or one or something, they did say that it was because they were experimenting on these LSD drugs. Also, I think it's because of, like, the shock therapy that fucking that Brenna put her through. Remember Brenna put her through shock therapy after she shot that security guard, went into the rainbow room to take Jane? This does make sense, but how would they add this in the storyline if they already said it would it's from the shock? Okay, I'm ready for another one because these are these are stressing me out, dog. But let's just go. This show owns my ass. Same. I think we're all expecting Steve to bite the dust this season, and yeah. that, that pains my soul deeply, and I want to cry. Same. But what if it's not Steve? I feel like it'll be our friend Will, but I think you know he's been kind of sidelined this season so far. Now the Duffer Brothers are crazy, and I think that they're about to crush everybody with probably the most heartbreaking death in TV history. Yeah. This show exists because of what happened to Will. Literally. And as we know, everybody forgot his birthday. Hell, maybe even the writers did. So I feel like by the laws of television, he's gonna die. Mainly because his arc this season has been about heartbreak and negligence and all these things. I hate when the theories that I hate the most make the most amount of sense because this does make sense. I also felt like Steve, Will, or even Nancy are going to pass away. <laughs> Yo. 
guys nah fam listen if will dies we must boycott netflix protest guys no one must watch season five do you understand me if i catch you sleeping and you watch season five after they kill off steve or hopper or will you're dead to me dead d-e-a-d -E dead Remember what I said about how Twitter's gonna react when or if Robin saves Nancy? They're already drawing f***ing cartoons of them with the caption, Don't be cowards, let them kiss. It's gonna get worse, trust me, and I'm I'm here for it, dog. I, I don't mind this ship, I am and then here for it, dog. Any ship that's woman-loving woman, I'm in, guys, I am in. It may not be the song that saved Max and Stranger Things season 4. So in episode 4, we see that the music that Max is listening to actually saves her. Vecna. However, I think it could in fact be something else that Vecna saw. Because when Nancy and Robin were talking to Victor, he never once said that the song that he was listening to was his favourite song. And we find out that Vecna didn't kill Victor because he reached his limit and not because of the song that was playing in the background. Therefore, him stopping had nothing to do with the music. If it wasn't the song that saved Max, what actually was it? And also at the end of episode 7, we realise that Eleven is the reason that 01 is actually Vecna. And due to him being inside of Max's mind, when she sees her memories, he can see them too. So when she sees the memory of Eleven, he can also see that. Which probably caught him off guard and also explains why he doesn't chase Max. Because he's realised his new mission is to stop, stop Eleven. Eleven. Therefore, in one of the final two episodes when they try to use music to stop Vecna, it may not work. And I know I'm probably wrong here, I do believe it was the music the same. That's her. really good. Do you think that Vecna... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me just think about this one quickly. <clears throat> I think that Vecna already knows that Eleven is well and alive and still exists. Because I think it was mentioned somewhere in season four that the Mind Flayer, Vecna, and all these demodogs and whatever, they could all be connected. So Vecna would know by association. They literally said that the, if the Mind Flayer is the brain and then Vecna is like the leading comrade like the leading man for sure or vecna saw the fact that uh, max and an 11 are friends coming he already knew because the mind flayer knows so with that being said i do think that music actually does save people but also maybe that did catch him off guard <gasps> i don't know the, this is a really good one though i don't know but i don't know uh, someone said that i'm surprised that no one has talked about the fact that mike likes eddie because he reminds him of will music taste check dramatic about dnd check made friends with him on the first day of school when no one else would ding ding and ding you can even add an artistic streak assuming eddie designed and made the hellfire club t-shirts eddie isn't baby's first gay crush he's just mike projecting onto someone who reminds him of will again are you saying guti mike has a crush on will do you know what fine i'll address the rumors and the speculations because you guys want me to the biggest theory of all right now that's circulating is you know will and mike or that will is gay but now the question is does mike have feelings for will i think that mike could have feelings for will but he is in love with 11 by fate like i don't like the fact that people are, are coming for mike calling him an and then that mike is so mean but if someone doesn't have feelings for you what is he supposed to do dog like i don't have feelings i don't have feelings I with that being that. said thank you so much for watching liking commenting and subscribing and if you haven't